This week I was meant to be building a raised vegetable bed and sowing the seeds for my squash and carrots and that kind of thing. Unfortunately, wicks are completely out of stock of decking, so that idea is a no-go. So what I'm going to try and do instead is have a really productive week up on the allotment doing lots of odd jobs and little bits and pieces. So it's going to be quite scattergun this video. Hi there, thanks so much for tuning in. So I'm Tim here at My Carbon Coach, channel all about allotment life, sustainability and environmentalism. So I've got all sorts of little jobs that I've been putting off for quite a while and a few jobs that have just cropped up. I just got some more herbs from Urban Herbs, so we're going to be planting those out. Got some more paint finally, Wilco's have had the beige colour paint back in stock, so I'm going to be hopefully painting the rest of the outside of the shed at least. I'm going to sow my radishes. I'm going to use one of the square beds that I made over the past couple of weeks to do that. We've had a delivery of wood chip and yeah all sorts of stuff. We'll just work our way through all of the bits and bobs. So one of the little jobs that I want to get done today is to finally sort out a sort of tie back for the door. At the moment it just flaps around and it's held in place by this um, bucket and either a fork or spade depending on which I'm using on the other side to try and hold it in place. I want something a bit more permanent so I've got myself a big bit of wood and I've got myself a latch so just going to quickly dig a hole stick that in it and then get it all fixed together and yeah that should do the trick much nicer go so got the latch on yeah just need to pat that post down a bit it's got a little bit of give in it but that's a job well done I'd say One of the herbs that I got this week uh, from Urban Herbs was a basil mint and it is a mint plant so yeah it's a mint that smells like basil so that's going to be really exciting to see that flourish and of course it doesn't go into a flower bed otherwise it'll spread and spread so I've got myself another plant pot <laughs> beige again when will I ever learn but yeah I thought it was rather cute it's got a bee friendly garden written on the front of it so got some rocks in the bottom for drainage and then just going to load it up with compost okay so i've filled up um, the pot most of the way so what we're going to do is first of all actually we're going to uh, water it down hopefully this won't just go straight oh there's ants i've got ants in my compost i don't know if that's going to be good or bad but i'm now covered in ants whoops right be right back in a minute yeah, so my compost uh, bag that I was keeping to weigh down the grow house uh, has ended up uh, being the home to some ants. Getting back to what I was going to do, uh, so let's just uh, get this compost nice and wet. And then we're going to pull this out of the pot. There we go, lovely jubbly. Look at that roots. Pull those apart a little bit. I've still got ants all over me. <laughs> see how tall that needs to be that is just perfect there we go so that is uh potted up Let's get rid of that bit plant's been uh, watered fairly recently uh, a bit of an overkill on the size of pot for uh <laughs> for the amount of compost that i've just had to put in but yeah, could have probably put more rocks in if I had some more. Anyway, that's another job done for the day. And basil mint, potted up. Next job on the list is to sort out this area. So you might remember, if you've seen previous videos, uh, that I kind of dug this area out, put up the little lean-to grow house thing. 
and yeah just left it so it's got some weeds in it so i'm just going to quickly hoe those off and a fir tree was chopped down on the site everyone that was lucky enough to be here on the day got a got a nice mound of chippings so i'm gonna put down a bit of a weed membrane and get this part properly um, sorted out so that looks nice up against the grass and the shed that's another job crossed off the list uh, quite pleased with that to be fair and still got quite a lot of wood chip left there's a fair old mountain there but that's going to be spread out when I eventually next over the next couple of days sort out around here so this is behind the shed but yeah this is where I've been sort of dumping stuff so since I can't make the vegetable bed I thought why not tidy this up so it looks a bit neater for my neighbours so the plan is to get rid of these bags of rubbish put down some cardboard or some weed membrane spread the chips out a bit and we're gonna paint the back of the shed i've finally been able to get some more of the the sort of off-white paint so should be able to get the back of the shed looking good and yeah eventually want to set up a water butt back here and to be honest i might even move the compost bin behind here as well and keep that properly out of the way we'll have to wait and see how i feel about that but yeah that's the plan so that'll be what's up next is the back of the shed painted looks very nice so whilst that's drying it's time to move on to some more planting so we can head back around to the front and we've got some herbs and things from like I said earlier urban herbs so we've got this tiny little lavender here I think it's a hid coat lavender and then we've got these three beauties as well so we've just got regular herbs this time nothing too fancy we've got a lovely time we've got a rosemary and we've got a sage so they're going to be going into this bed and then after that we're going to put some radishes into that one two rows of rainbow radishes have been sewn into here i'm trying out something with uh, cheapo like 20 piece spatulas from wilco's and a white marker pen see whether or not that stands up to a bit of rain but yeah two two rows of rainbow radishes says maybe two weeks and then quick spin uh here are the herbs so i didn't really need to label them but i just thought i would so they're all looking uh nice in their new bed and there's the hidcott lavender planted in position next to that uh, rose one. And there we go, so I think that was quite a successful week uh, despite not being able to do what I wanted to do with putting in the vegetable bed and sewing what I'd planned to there but there's always next week hopefully Wix will have the decking back in stock uh, so I hope you enjoyed that uh, yeah fairly all over the place doing a bit of everything uh, it was definitely a lot of fun for myself so before we go just a couple of closing bits all of the usual YouTube -y business so if you wanted to uh, hit the like button if you like the video you could thumbs down it if you wanted to uh, drop a comment down below I love hearing from you guys and please 
have a look at my Patreon, uh, which is a way of supporting creators to carry on creating. All kinds of links down in the description for my social media and all of that kind of stuff. Next week, hopefully we'll be doing the vegetable bed. I want to talk a little bit about Plastic Free July, uh, which is something that I'm really big on to, into. And we'll call it a day there. So take care of yourselves, take care of your plots, and have a fantastic week. Cheers, everyone.